The Wampanoag Nation was a collection of 69 Native American tribes throughout the Cape Cod area, and the Mashpee Wampanoags are one of only three surviving tribes of that nation. The Mashpee Wampanoags note that contact with immigrants and non-indigenous people was not a singular event, but rather is a continuous experience from 1616 to the present day. These contexts have had profound effects on the tribe. European traders brought, among other things, a devastating yellow fever epidemic to the Wampanoags in 1616, wiping out 45,000 people, a full two-thirds of the entire Wampanoag nation. Wakoit Bay was part of Wampanoag tribal land when pilgrim settlers arrived in 1620 and established their settlement on Wampanoag land. During King Philip's War of 1675, over 40% of the Wampanoags were killed and many healthy men sold as slaves. Starting in the 1630s, missionaries began converting Wampanoags to Christianity, which had an effect of moving people away from their traditional cultures. Cultural assimilation has been an ongoing issue in interactions between indigenous and non-indigenous people. Despite devastating loss of people, land, and cultural connections, the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe perseveres through the challenges. It was in 2015 that the U.S. Department of Interior approved an application by the Mashpee tribe permitting them to begin requiring, requiring tribal lands. In, also in 2015, the Wampanoag Nations partnered with Wakoit Bay Reserve to educate the public on people's connection to nature and the Wampanoag way of life.